Hello everybody, Roel Kleinenburg here. Just a quick demonstration how to get HANA Studio running on your Mac. Um, it is the one thing missing. Um, we have an, uh, a HANA Studio client on Windows, uh, we have one on Linux, uh, but we don't, what we don't have unfortunately is one on OS X. Um, and of course a lot of developers are using OS X machines um, because they're cool, but also because um, they're pretty fast. Um, let me just demonstrate how it will look, basically. So, opening up a terminal session. Okay, let's see. Okay, there it is. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into a Ubuntu uh, machine I have uh, lying around. Um, and this minus Y parameter you see here is basically uh, very important. Because what that does, it is forwarding, um, let's say, the programs I'm going to execute on the Ubuntu box. So it's basically forwarding uh, the Windows sessions. So let me show how that looks. So SSHing into my Ubuntu box. Logging on. Right. I'm in my uh, Ubuntu machine now. Um, so, well, basically not too much I have to do now. So I'm going to the directory where HDB Studio, the HANA, develop, HANA Studio is installed. And I'm just going to run it, and there she goes. Voila! And within uh, a couple of seconds, I actually have a uh, my yeah my Hana Studio running on uh, on OS X, um, and it is very very fast, which is mind boggling. Well, of course, this is nonsense what I'm filling in now. Hana test administrator. Well, you get the idea. It is very fast and it is running almost natively. Next. Okay. So that's pretty nice. So what do you have to do to, uh, to make that work? It is actually not that difficult. Uh, you need to fiddle around a bit. Uh, first thing you have to do is uh, install something called Xquartz on your OS X machine. Um, the latest uh, operating systems from Apple don't have X11 installed anymore by default, which is required to uh, to uh, to be able to do this trick. If you Google Xquartz, you can just install the file on your um, your OS X machine, and it will work. Uh, second thing you have to do is you have to forward the um, SSH uh, agents, and you do that by let me just show you that by making a new terminal session. Okay, so I'm going to cd etc. There I am. And there is a file called sshconfig. Config. Which is very important. And this part is important. What you see over here. Forward x11, yes. And you need to do this on the... Um, Mac side, but also on the Ubuntu side. So you have to do it in two places. Um, if you haven't had, if you didn't install SSH on your Ubuntu machine, of course you also have to do that. But that is basically installed by, per default. Um, yeah, and there you have it. Pretty nifty trick. Have fun. Talk to you later.